What's up everybody, welcome to Best Massage Tech, where today I'm gonna to talk about two big announcements from Whoop that they shared today during their virtual event, Whoop Unlocked 2021. So the first of their two big announcements is that they are launching Whoop 4.0. It is a new and improved Whoop sensor device. This is something that they've had in the works for a little over two years now, and it includes a lot of big improvements and changes from the Whoop 3.0. If you're not familiar with what a Whoop strap is, it's essentially a fitness, activity, and sleep monitor kind of all rolled into one. The strap itself does not have a display on it. And this sensor here accumulates a bunch of different data points to really develop two different scores for you. You get a strain score daily just based on the amount of activity you do. And then you have a recovery score that's based on sleep and your respiratory rate and HRV. And through all these data points, it helps you create positive influence and positive change on your life based on the information that it gathers on a daily basis. Now, when it comes to the Whoop 4.0, or as founder Will Ahmed called it during the virtual event today, the 4.0, there are a few additions, changes, and really big improvements upon the Whoop 3.0. And the first big improvement comes to the sensor itself. Now, one of the biggest criticisms that the Whoop 3.0 got was that the heart rate monitor wasn't necessarily as accurate as some people felt it should be. And with the 3.0, it consisted of two sensors that were green LEDs. The 4.0 is gonna have five LEDs. So there's gonna have three green, one red, one infrared, and then there's four photodiodes. So with these additional sensors, we're gonna get much more accurate heart rate monitoring information and much more accurate measurements. Now they also added haptic alerts, which what I assume is gonna consist of a gyroscope inside of it. Now with these haptic alerts, you can actually set your whoop to wake you up at the ideal time with gentle vibrations in your wrist. So not only are we getting three additional LEDs and the capability for it to vibrate, but they went ahead and made the sensor 33% smaller than the 3.0 as well. And along with the upgraded sensor, we now get two new data points to track in our app. We get a pulse oximeter to measure blood oxygen level or SpO2, and we also get a skin temperature sensor. And with the upgraded sensor and new data points, we actually get an improvement to the app itself where they've added in a feature called Health Monitor, which allows you to take 30 day or 180 day trends and export them into a PDF. So you can take all the data points, whether it be your heart rate variability, your respiratory rate, your heart rate, your skin temperature, or your blood oxygen levels over a 30 or 180 day span and actually share that with people on your training team, whether it be a coach or a trainer, or even if you're having issues, you can share that with someone in the medical field as well. Another improvement we get is to the battery pack, and the battery pack is probably one of the most unique features of the Whoop strap. And I say that because you don't actually have to take your strap off in order to charge it. The charger or the battery pack conveniently slides right onto your strap. And this charger itself is not waterproof, and because it is so convenient to put on, it can be very easy to forget that you have it on there. And actually in the year and a half that I've owned my 3.0, I've actually taken it into the shower probably four or five times. And thankfully I've realized it quick enough that I was able to take it off and not damage it. However, with the 4.0, the battery pack is now waterproof. They've also added a 17% improvement to the battery so that it charges slightly faster. Now the device itself is still gonna hold its charge for five days, so you're not gonna have to constantly charge it, but it is a big improvement that it is waterproof for those of you that forget to take it off when you're jumping in the shower with it charging. Now Whoop has also made some changes to the strap itself. The 4.0 is gonna come with their super knit band already attached. You won't have to worry about pre-threading that to your sensor. And they've also changed how it attaches the sensor and they're calling this the fast length slider. And this improvement will allow you to change colors of your strap really quickly and easily and not have to worry about re-threading it. They've also added in a technology that they're calling anywhere detection, which will detect which part of your body that you're actually wearing your strap on, whether you have it on your wrist or your bicep. 
And this technology actually leads way to the next big announcement that they made during today's virtual event, which was the announcement of Whoop Body, which is their new apparel brand that's gonna allow you to take your sensor and actually make your tracker almost invisible by integrating it into your clothing. So whether that be a sports bra or compression pants or underwear, you're gonna be able to slide that sensor into the Whoop Body apparel and you won't even have to wear a strap at all. And through that anywhere detection technology, it'll actually determine where on your clothing you're wearing that sensor. And this will just simply help the device better track your data points, knowing where it is on your body that it's gathering that information. So that's all the information from Whoop's big announcement today. If you do currently have at least a six month subscription to Whoop, you can go ahead and upgrade to 4.0. Otherwise, you are gonna have to purchase at least a six month subscription in order to get that 4.0. They say they're gonna start shipping September 27th, so I'm excited to hopefully get my hands on one and create a review video once I do. So if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're looking forward to hopefully seeing that review shortly after the 27th, once I hopefully get one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You'll see that video and all my other video reviews until then. Otherwise, that is all the information I have for today. Thanks for watching.